Hey there, this is Stephanie Treasure, host of the Coach and Profit Giveaway, where 50 plus experts share visibility, marketing, and business strategies for making six figures and more in your coaching business so that you can grow, leverage, and scale. Welcome again to another one of these broadcasts that we're hosting for the Coach and Profit Giveaway. Now, I have invited my colleagues to shine the spotlight on the high value resources that they have provided for this special event. So thank you for prioritizing this, for joining us and giving it your focus to truly make your participation in this event very impactful for your business. As a reminder, you can sign up to join us in this giveaway completely for free during the uh, dates of May 9th to the 20th at coachandprofitgiveaway.com. That's www.coachandprofitgiveaway.com. Now, I am excited to welcome my um, one of the experts on the giveaway, uh, my colleague and friend, Lori Osborne. Hi there, Lori. Thank you uh, for being here and welcome to this broadcast. Hi, thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Awesome. So I want to kind of, you know, even though when persons opt in for the giveaway, they are, they're going to get the official bio that, you know, that we try to put forward to have persons know all the bells and whistles, all the accolades about us and what we do, but go ahead and share with us in your own words, uh, you know, a little bit more about you and the work that you're doing and the people that you're working with these days. Okay. Awesome. Well, I have been in technology for over 30 years. Um, I've done just about everything you can do in technology. I started in documentation and software testing, website testing, project management. And then about um, seven years ago, I left and realized my passion for web design. And just really, I started getting into it and went, oh my gosh, I've never been able to pull the creative into my work before. And this has just opened up a whole new world of pieces that you know, pieces of myself I didn't even realize I had. So for the last seven years, I have focused solely on web design. And the last few years, we've really ramped up our SEO work as well, because a lot of times with web design, you don't get the SEO piece. And I've just come to learn that what is the point in providing a website if I'm not giving you the additional marketing pieces to that, and especially the SEO. So that's kind of what we do now is websites, SEO, and we have a huge focus on coaches, which is why I am super excited about this entire event. I love that. And actually, the, you know, when I started out in business many, many years ago, um, you know, myself not quite knowing how, you know, the interwebs worked and, you know, <laughs> you know, um, what, how, how you get a website, you know, out there. And after you go through the work of getting the website out there, how do people find it? And mm -hmm. I built a little website on the interwebs, um, you, I think using WordPress at the time. And no, it may have been, oh, this was way back. And I'm going to date myself. It was Yahoo Site Builder. Do you, re do you remember? Oh, that? wow. <laughs> yeah, way, way, way back way when. Before, <laughs> Beginning of the before, internet. Yeah, before WordPress. And I built it, it was quite on point as it relates to the topic of the website. So I figured, you know, cause it was a very small, it was not a very small niche, but it was, it was pretty niched. And I, it, I was saying, you know, so, you know, this is a unique website on this topic. Of course, when I Google it, it's going to be found and it was not. And <laughs> for the life of me, I didn't, I couldn't understand why this, this website on topic, all the copy, spoke about the topic, you know, it was very clear, very precise, why right. I couldn't find it in a Google search. And I had a, you know, a website friend of mine, you know, somebody else who, who had um, experience with the interwebs. And I asked him, you know, why I couldn't find my website, or if he could do a certain time, if he found it, if it was just my computer. And that's when he explained to me this thing called search engine optimization, <laughs> SEO what it means, how to, you know, how it works and why it's right. not just a given that your website, which seems to be on topic, even if it's about you, is going to be found. Like even when I, if I put it myself, I couldn't find my own <laughs> website. Oh, wow. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so you know, there I'm are, there are doing this work. There are 200 million active websites right now around the world. So if you think about it that way, that anything we do they're, they're not all doing what we're doing, but that's what we're competing with. And, 
you know, the algorithms are very specific and changing all the time. So having a feel for that and having that set up properly is definitely critical. Yeah, now I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. And even especially for coaches, because it's such a competitive world and it's, you know, it's become saturated in a lot of ways. And a lot of coaches are working online and national. So it's really important that we do additional SEO to be found. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a, a pretty big challenge for national working coaches if they're not niche, especially. Mm, yes, yes. Great, great, great. So um, tell us about the resource that you've made available for persons based on, you know, what you're, the work that you're doing and SEO and all that good stuff. What is the free resource that we can find when a person's opt into the giveaway? Well, so based on what we just said, what I am giving away is how to be seen, how coaches can be seen, the things to consider for your website and SEO, just some highlights and tips of things that I've learned over my time getting to know small business, all of my clients are small business and coaches specifically. Okay, so it's, um, I believe I have it here, the SEO and website tips for professional coaches. I love the sound of that. And definitely it will help us to, um, you know, have persons to um, do the things that they need to do in their website to get it put on the map. So is the, uh, what can persons expect when they um, access this? Is it um, a, is it worksheets? Is it, um, you know, do you help them with keywords? What, what can persons expect and why should, should they definitely get a hold of this guide, the guide to being seen SEO and website tips for professional coaches? It's going to be a PDF guide. And so there'll be a lot of tips built into that guide. And then also on my page, um, I'm actually making May a coaches focus month. Um, our business anniversary is Monday. So I thought, well, let's just, you know, make it a big month about coaches because we're so excited about the, the packages and things that we've built for coaches. So I'm also doing a, a free workshop on the 16th where there'll be some links to that as well, where they can learn a lot of what I'm talking about in the guide, even more enhanced and kind of hear it from my, my mouth, which I'm sure I'll have recorded and put on the website as well. Oh, so very, very exciting. So folks, um, you're just in time. Definitely um, opt in for the guide uh, and take advantage, you know, implement those tips as much as possible there. And once you do, you'll be in the know as to when and where the workshop is being held and you'll be able to attend that and get even more support. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Um, again, you can go to coachandprofitgiveaway.com um, once you opt in, you see the categories there. I believe that yours is in the category of marketing and sales. So once you yes. click on the marketing and sales category, look for Lori's, uh, you'll see her picture, you'll see the, um, the link for the guide, go ahead and download it and you'll be in the know there. And um, another feature of this giveaway, folks, is that some of our expert panel, some of the members of our expert panel have uh, sweet in the pot, if you will, and they've made available, um, made it fun, and 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 they've presented a raffle item. So once you opt in for the free business resource, you're automatically entered uh, for the opportunity to win one of, in this case, I believe it's three spots <clears throat> for a mm -hmm. raffle item. Go ahead and tell us what your raffle item is and uh, the value of this, and why persons definitely uh, should get excited about the possibility of winning this. Okay. So like she said, we're giving away three and what we are doing is a full website audit and a free SEO audit. And what that means is for your website audit, I go in, I check every single thing on your website, your buttons, your links. I look at your images. I will do a recorded call with you where I go through your website and give you my feedback and input on anything that you could improve and make better. So that's the website review piece. And then we're doing an additional SEO audit where we do a full report and analysis from the back end of anything and everything that um, our, our tool tells us Google doesn't like about your website. And I can go through that with you as well and tell you all the things, how you're ranking, how your competitors are doing, and the things that you should do to improve your overall presence SEO and be seen. 
Very exciting. So this is a value of $254, folks. Uh, this is a lot of work and it's a paid uh, service, obviously. And um, there's only uh, three spots available, but um, you go ahead and, and sign up for the free resource and you never know, you may just um, be one of the three lucky winners for that. So thank you very much for making that, um, you know, that resource available and that opportunity available for those that are joining us. So let's um, talk a little bit more about your website presence and SEO, right? What would you say is one of the common mistakes that you come across as it relates to either how persons are presenting themselves online, the kind of information that they're placing on their website so that persons can get to know them better and the work that they do, or as it relates to setting things up so that they can be found by the people who need their, um, their services? I would say um, there are two big things that I see as the biggest mistakes. Um, one is a, an opt-in or a freebie. Um, I always encourage everyone to have a freebie on their website all the time, not just for events like this, but all the time. Um, what I see most common are people making a newsletter or a con consultation call their freebie. Now, the problem with that is, number one, on a newsletter, they don't know you yet. They don't know if they want to hear from you regularly. And everybody says they're giving away a newsletter. And it gets to the point where you're like, who cares? I have enough emails coming into my inbox. And a consultative call is great. Everybody should have a free call. Don't get me wrong. But that should be when someone is ready to have a call with you. Um, remember, we've got to build know, like, and trust. And a lot of times, if they're just coming to your website and they see a free call, they're thinking sales call. I'm going to get on the phone and they're going to sell me something. So really what you want for your giveaway is what someone that doesn't know you that's coming to your website would want and would give them value today, as well as introduce yourself through that element that you're providing, whether it's a video or a download or a free course, what, whatever you're offering, make sure it's something that they would want. That's part of your, you know, your audience, who, what would your audience want and introduces you to start building the know, like, and trust, because that is key for them to do business with you. Very, very good tip. Um, you know, you, you definitely want to be building a list because, you know, when people land upon your website, there is no guarantee that they're going to come back, right? They may go on your website and it's, it's even if it's a beautiful website, right? And say, wow, look at this, look at that. But if you don't somehow capture those leads, you may never um, hear from them again. They may never encounter you again. So you definitely want okay. to, um, I agree that you want to have some kind of a free offer on your website so that persons can um, opt in and be in your space. And then you can always, you know, send them back to the website with, you know, either your blog posts or um, information that you share there. So thank you for sharing that mistake. What was You're the other um, common mistake that you find that people make? Um, the other thing would be with that opt-in, making it a pop-up. And a lot of people don't know this, but last May when Google did their SEO um, algorithm changes, one of the things they came out and said is they do not want to see pop-ups. And the reason that is, is because pop-ups block data and user friendliness is top in the requirements for SEO. So if you're blocking data with your pop-up, especially on mobile, which is more important than desktop these days, then you're losing points, so to speak, with Google presenting you in, in search engine or uh, in search ops, search results, I can talk. <laughs> so build in your opt-in into your website. Don't use a pop-up. So don't just have the button to say, click here, which will open into a pop-up, have it be informed that they would actually have to fill out on the site itself. You could do a button to pull up a pop-up because they're choosing for that to happen. But a lot of times people just build it where you're on for 10 seconds or something and the pop-up comes. comes up. yes. That's what you don't want because that's going, that's not by choice and it's blocking data. Ah, okay. Okay. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. So those are the, the, the mistakes that you definitely want to avoid, folks. So what is a takeaway tip that you want to share with persons watching today? Um, you know, as, especially if they're, you know, sure they're going to run for the SEO, the, the guide to being seen where they can get the SEO and website tips. Um, what's the takeaway that you want them to leave with? You know, I just, I just want to stress again, how important it is that with websites, it is not a case of build it and they will come. 
it, it takes work to make sure that website is seen. And my goal is for everyone to have the website as your hub of marketing. So let's make sure you have a website you love and that people want to go to and that keeps track of the people that are there so that you can continue to build the know, like, and trust. Yeah, I agree with you there because, you know, possibly a, a, an unpopular opinion, but I, I, I'm almost sure that you're going to agree with me is that you don't own the, the, um, the assets, quote unquote, on social media, right? Right. And a lot yes. of energy is put into making sure the Facebook page looks nice, the, the Facebook group looks nice and has all the graphics and, you know, appeals to people and less so on the website sometimes. Yep. And the website is what you own. The website is, right. is your place. And in, when you build that uh, email list, that email list is yours. The followers on your Facebook page are members of your group they're not necessarily yours. And if Facebook shuts oh. those down, then you don't oh. you, you lose access to these people that you are, you know, driving traffic there, building the relationship there only and neglecting to do some work yes. on the website. I think you, you sound like you took that straight from one of my presentations. <laughs> <laughs> well, Absolutely 100 percent I agree with everything you just said. It's yeah, so important. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and I have to say, we, you know, folks, uh, before we, we started, I did tell Lori that I checked her out because I, I each of the experts here I have handpicked and really I wanted them to be a part of this panel to bring you the most valuable resources. And I did do my reading on, on Lori and learned quite a bit about her. So possibly I heard it from one of your videos and <laughs> out it came. <laughs> That's great. Great for you to learn these things. Everyone needs to learn these things. It's so yeah. important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So as we talked about social media, um, I know, well, I'm going to ask you where people can stay in touch with you, but certainly once you opt in and you get the guide, you'll continue to hear from Lori, you'll get her emails. She'll be telling you about the workshop and many other resources to help you, um, to help professional coaches. Um, but where can persons, where, where do you like to hang out on, on social media where persons can keep up with you there as well? Um, so we do have a Facebook page. It's Facebook. It's Biz Volster, name of our business. Um, we are also on Instagram. It's Biz Volster Lori. And I'm very active on LinkedIn. I have both a business page and my personal page. And any of those, you can find regular, um, hopefully interesting information about me and stay in touch with me. Sorry, forgot to hit the unmute. <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Thank you so much again for being a part of this panel. Um, I really appreciate it. You've got you've brought great value to persons that are, you know, who are coaches, consultants, and service-based business owners that are watching this. Thank you again for those watching, for giving this your time, giving this your attention. Remember now to go to coachandprofitgiveaway.com uh, specifically to download um, Lori's gift as you heard here today. You can find it um, when you log in, you go into the marketing and sales category uh, and you'll find her, her item there. Once you opt in, you'll be entered for the raffle and then you hear directly from her. Uh, three persons, uh, three lucky winners will hear directly from her. So uh, thanks again, Lori, for being here and we'll be in touch. Okay. Thank you so much.